A black hole full of shadows. Foul stench. She's coming. Evil spider eyes. Huge bloated body. Swaying, sagging. Great long hairy legs. Claws. Groping, feeling, reaching out for me. Sam, Sam, help me. Sam, it's Frodo, please. She's getting nearer. Ah. Oh, will I never forget. Always somewhere in the darkness, the nightmare lurks. <laughs> there. It's strange how so small a light as that of a candle can dissolve shadows, dispel fears. The tale in this book, the Red Book, is a tale truly shrouded in shadows. Even though Bilbo's final title does not even hint at their depth and darkness, Adventures of Five Hobbits. <laughs> the tale of the Great Ring compiled by Bilbo Baggins from his own observations and accounts of his friends. What we did in the War of the Ring. Hmm. Perhaps in time. I may add a title of my own. <sighs> Night's drawing on. The telling of this tale draws towards its dark conclusion. In those final days, as the storm clouds of war gathered and grew heavy, doom and dread were closing in upon us all, upon King Theoden in his golden hall, upon Lord Denethor, steward of Gondor, in the mighty citadel of Minas Tirith. Courage and fear wrestled in the hearts of all our friends, Aragorn and Gandalf, Legolas and Gimli, Merry and Pippin. Of course, Sam and I knew nothing of their troubles. We only knew that we had to struggle on, sometimes helped by Gollum, sometimes hindered by the loathsome creature. On and on we went, through the land of shadow, small and alone. Then, stung by Shelob into seeming death, a poisoned darkness finally closed over me. Oh, poor Sam, faced with the most terrible of choices, to stay with me and let the ring fall into the enemy's hands, or to take on its burden and hope to carry it himself to the very cracks of doom. How could he have known that I was not dead? And what else could he feel but utter failure when he discovered that I was both alive and a captive of Sauron's orcs? My poor dear Sam, no wonder he was overwhelmed by the darkness of defeat and despair. <laughs> <laughs>